So, so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to we're going to um, install Eclipse with the plugin for Ruby, so that Ruby will have the, the Eclipse will have the syntax for Ruby, and um, you'll be able to see the indentations and if there's a mistake and different things like that, you'll see it much better. It also means that you can compare the Ruby code, code with the the highly syntax Java code, and then. Um, you can compare both codes and then um, why Ruby is so, so much more simple yet it's, it's totally object orientated and you, you, can, you can use that ob ob object orientated um, methods and, and classes just the way you do it in, in Java. Right. So to get started what, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to download and to download the Eclipse, if you go to this web page here, www.eclipse.org forward slash downloads forward slash packages forward slash. Now, if you go there, you'll be able to see that there's many different kinds of um, Eclipse packages. Um, you've got the Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, um, Eclipse Classic, and the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, which we're going to download this one. You can see you've got it for C and C++, um, Java, JavaScript, and things like that. What we're going to do is download the IDE for Java developers and add the plugin for Ruby to it. So if we go across to, I'm going to do the, the 32 bit one um, for Windows um, because I'm using a 32 bit computer. As you can see, it's been downloaded as 129 meg. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to I'm going to stop that. Now. Do it again. Download. I've already got it installed, um, and so so what you what you end up with. This folder here, and it's a zip folder, zipped folder, and so if you unzip it, unzip to here, and you can see that's it there. Just there. going to take a while, so I'm just going to pause just for a second. So, so that's um, that's a Eclipse um, unzipped folder here. If I open it, you can see all the files are there. This is the application. If you double click Eclipse there, it'll open up the Eclipse application. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to to get a plugin. We're going to add the plugin to this folder here. Plus, plus we're going to add plugins to the features. And so, but first we've got to download them. And uh, I'm just going to do that now. Right. I've already got this web address here to download. The plugin. I downloaded there. Oh, that's a 
that's it downloading there. It's only 3.8 meg, but I've already downloaded this file. So let's go back in. This is a folder here. Again, if we unzip, if we unzip it to here. and you've got plugins. So this is what we're going to add to Eclipse. So let's just move this over here. Open Select, select all, edit, select all, edit, copy, go across to plugins and eclipse, folder, edit, paste. Features, open it up, there's two folders, copy both, select all, edit, paste, copy, sorry, and features on, on Eclipse, edit, paste the two copied ones, okay, we can close this one down. And now we can run the application. Well, the first time the Eclipse runs, it's it takes its time, it takes a while. So I'm just going to pause. Okay. Right, now this this is the first thing it does, it asks you to to accept or to make a, a workspace. Now I've already called one workspace and so we'll call this by um, Ruby. So it's and again it's going to it's going to read all the files and the plugins that we put into Ruby first time so it takes its time and I'm just going to pause. So the, the first thing you 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 have on Eclipse is for the first time will be a welcome screen. All we do is just close this down, and then the first thing we've got to do is create a Ruby project, and then we've got to well the first thing we're going to do is tell Eclipse where the Ruby um, interpreter is, and what you'll notice here. Is Java is there, but we'll end up with with Ruby here. We'll be able to switch between them if we want to. And so, the first thing we'll do, the first thing we'll do is tell it where the interpreter is. Right, so we we'll go to go to window. Preferences. Normally you have to click on Ruby and this will open up. Then you click on installed inter interpreters right. and you can see there's nothing there so it doesn't know where a Ruby interpreter is. So I've already installed Ruby in another video. So 
add call it ruby browse Eclipse knows where Ruby interpreter is. Now we need to do this part here as a documentation. And so it wants to know where Adoc is and where RI is. And so if we browse, it's in the same folder as Ruby. So, so this one here is Adoc. And there's two, you'll notice two. One's a, one's a batch file for, for Windows and DOS. And that's to run commands, so that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this one. It's just, it's just plain. It's a the image of a piece of paper that a document. Um, it's blank. So that's one we want. I don't want this one here because that's for systems one. So open, and we'll do the same for the R. a project so it's new it's not a Java pro project it's a Ruby project so we go to projects then we go down to Ruby Ruby projects next and we have to give a, a project name which is going to be a folder project name so we'll go begin Also click this button up here, which is also for uh, a class. So we click here. It's already in the begin effect, and we'll, we'll call it just first. And you can see it's it's made a class and it's named the file with a small. It was uh, instead of a capital. It's changed it to a small f. So first dot rb, and the class is like a capital there. I don't know. I don't know why Ruby um, Eclipse does this, but that's the way it, it operates. And so, so you, you'll see here it's a called f, which is a, a method and, and creating. it's indented so and it's highlighted and so if we save if we save that then we can run it in, in Ruby interpreter and in the DOS um, command prompt um, and we can compare this with the Ruby Jaffa code and you'll see that it's much simpler and easier to remember and easier to operate because there's less syntax so again thank you for your time